Never thought that we would be meeting in this way, uh, but here we are. COVID has played the number, but it has also given us a number of opportunities that we never thought possible. Uh, suddenly we have to become experts in all sorts of things. So here we are today. And I want to welcome you here today. And uh, my name is Dr. Leroy Clark, and I'm chair of the Olive Maud Clark Memorial Scholarship Fund, president and executive director of ECAP Mentoring, as well as one of the seven children of the late Olive Clark. We want to thank, certainly thank all our donors and supporters, along with the board of directors of ECAP Mentoring. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you into this virtual space this afternoon. As we honor the legacy of uh, the late Olive Maud Clark Neil Langley, October 10th, 1914 to December 8th, 2019, 105 beautiful years, uh, blessing others and making a difference in the world. Her impact has been felt all over and it gives me great pleasure in having a scholarship fund like this one. So without any further ado, we will move forward. And uh, let me, there you go. So, so our next, next on our program is uh, the national anthem by my daughter, beautiful daughter, Kimberly. Go ahead, Kimberly. Hi, everyone. Hello. Okay. Hi. Oh, Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love in all our sons command with glowing hearts we see thee rise our true north strong and free from far and wide O oh canada we stand on guard for thee god keep our land glorious and free oh canada we stand on guard for thee oh canada we stand on guard for thee Thank you. Bravo. We have uh, participants from all over the world. And uh, later on in the program, I will just, if you could call out where in the world you are, that would be great. But I know we have Kenya. Uh, we, I know we have Jamaica. I know we have uh, the, the United States, various states in the United States. Um, so welcome. Um, on the list is my sister and her family, Dr. Lilith Morgan from New York. Go over to you, Lilith. Good evening again. Good evening. Yes, it's just a pleasure and it's a wonderful evening. And I just want to say thank God for the legacy that my mother has left behind. And now we have the Olive Maud, um, the Olive Maud foundation scholarship did i say it right now so we memorial just, scholarship memorial scholarship amen thank you lord thank you so two outstanding kids our student will be getting this scholarship today and it's just such a pleasure to know she has left this legacy behind for us, the children, for the grandchildren, the great-grandchildren, and all of us. And we are excited this evening. And I thank you, Dr. Leroy Clark, my brother, and also my other sibling, Carmen, my nieces and nephews, and friends and family, well-wishers, everyone, this evening for being a part of this great occasion. 
And I just want to say thank you, thank you. This is a time we would be going to Canada to celebrate with my mother. And, you know, I just want to say thank God. Let me just, let me just pray. Let me pray for, um, you know, this occasion and the student and everyone. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come to you this evening, Lord, to say thank you for what you're doing, Lord God. In this season, Lord God, thank you for the blessing, Lord God. Thank you, oh God, for my brother Leroy Carmen and each and every one, every family member that are here and friends that are celebrating with us, oh God, that this could come to such an occasion as this, yes. where two outstanding kids, or students, I should say, are getting a scholarship award where they can, you know, um, they go forth on their journey, oh God and to get in their education, Lord God. And Father, it's just a wonderful thing just to think back and see what God has done. Mighty God, you are awesome. You are great. And we just ask you to continue to lead, guide, and direct these students, oh God, as they go forward, Lord God. We ask that you open their understanding, Father God, and let them do whatever you want them to do, Lord God. Open doors for them. Bless them in every area of their life and meet every need in their life, oh God, as they go forward. And we just thank you. For this day, I know we don't have much time, so we give God the praise and the honor and the glory, amen. and we say amen. amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord. At this time, I'm so proud to present to you my nephew, um, an amazing musician in the person of uh, Matthew Daly. His, his family is up on my the very top corner. So let's have uh, Matthew play for us right now. And
Awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much, Matthew. Uh, seeing that footwork, I, I, I've looked at this over and over again, and I'm just in awe. It, 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 it's, it's certainly amazing. But I think it would be even better to see him in person practicing, uh, actually performing. Uh, that opportunity will be available to us uh, sometime in the future. Thank you so much, Matthew. Pleasure. Is uh, an amazing musician again. In the person, by the way, while we are getting this one up, I, I think I know there's family from all over. This is your one moment of fame <laughs> to, to, to just get on and say something. It has to be very, very brief, though. While if you could go and get fetch the other item there, uh, Leon, it is um, it's a musical selection by Gina Williams. When you're ready. Um, uh, it's it's ready to go. Yes. Okay, I'll line up. But uh, I'll I'll certainly allow an opportunity for possibly a family man. I know my sister in Jamaica is sitting there, and uh, along with Joel, if you want to say a few words, you're welcome to say just a, a few seconds of hello uh, before we move on to the next item. Okay. Nobody wants to take take it on. Let's go. Um, oh, is, is Kimberly. She's in. Oh, okay. Go ahead, Joyce. Hello, Leroy, and everyone else. So nice to see you. Not the best of forum, but it will do. God's blessing to everyone. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead. Hello. Go ahead. Hello, Leon. it's Hyacinth, Minister Morgan. Hyacinth, friend. how are you? Beautiful rendition. Beautiful rendition. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead. Um, go ahead. Uh, go ahead, Leah. Leon, you'll need to unmute your mic.
Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, my very good friend, Gita, um, she's not on the call. She's from Vancouver, another part of Canada. And so she is uh, blessing us with her amazing music. Thank you so much, uh, Gina. You're certainly a blessing um, to us. And if Mama was here, she would just say, a good man, a good so that's what Sheila said, and indeed it is. Thank you, thank you. Um, the next, we're, the next segment is uh, the celebration. Um, it's actually the presentation, and uh, I'm going to pass you over to my beautiful wife Sonia, my my anchor, my everything. Thank you so much. Over to you, Sonia. Well, I'd like to say good evening to everybody. It's so good to see friends and family. You know, we have to thank God for technology. And now, at this time, I want to call upon Evans. Uh, he is a winner tonight. I'm going to say congratulations to you, Evans. Thank you. Thank you. So you can hear me. Can you hear me, Evans? Yes, I can hear you. Hi there. Yes, congratulations, Evans. You have won the Memorial Scholarship for Olive Maud Clark. You're an awesome young man. And from your application, we could see that you're an outstanding young person who is ambitious and hardworking. Along with all this, you have demonstrated great concern for your community, which is truly admirable in a, in a young person. So at this time, it gives me, in the presence of all gathered here, it is my great pleasure to present you with this scholarship. On behalf of the Clark family, Evans, we want to wish you God's blessing and continued success in all your future endeavors. Once again, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Sonia. Um, at this time, Evans will respond with a few minutes, and after which we will uh, over to you, Leon, with the, the video. Go ahead, Evans. All right. Hi, hi, everyone. Hope you're doing good. Thank you. Thank you so, so much to the Clark family for this opportunity um, with the Olive Maud Scholarship. This is such a big thing that you guys are doing just in honor of your mom. I was just thinking a while back, like, what's the best way to leave a legacy on this earth? How do you become remembered, like, from time and time to come? And I think through education and through opportunities like this for other people, even who you may not know even before, just getting opportunities like this to have a stepping stone in life can really take them far. And I'm very grateful for what you're doing for your mother. And thank you so, so much for the scholarship. Thank you to my family and friends for joining me here. I'm so happy all day from Kenya to Canada. Thank you for joining and God bless you all. Thank you. It's our pleasure. You're welcome. Thank you. Hey, this is Ivan Spasami Jr. I'm a third year software engineering student at Ontario Tech University. Um, this um, 2020, the Olive Mode um, Scholarship Award just shows me that um, if you keep trusting in God, he'll always come through for you just when you need it, need it the most. Um, my passion has always been to serving people and just giving myself and my time towards just seeing the betterment of other people around me. And um, you can always keep giving and giving, but again, God always surprises you like tenfold by just giving back to you. And he just showed me this through the glimpse of the scholarship and just receiving it because in as much as you look out for everyone, God is always watching your back and always sending people your way, angels like. 
the Clark family to just lighten up your way. So this scholarship is such a big deal for me because it can help me pursue my education this year a bit stress-free and just be able to complete my degree over the next two years and I'll be able to just graduate as a software engineering student. So I'm very, very grateful. Thank you so, so much for the support of my friends, my family, and most importantly to God for just guiding me throughout the way, just showing me where to look. And he says, when you seek, you will find. So that's simply what he just did. And that's, that's my gratitude speech to the Clark family. Thank you. Thank you so much. Take care. Over to you again, Sonny. Oh, it's my turn again. Okay. At this time, it gives me great pleasure to call upon uh, Teja. Where are you, Teja? Are you there? I'm here. Good evening to you. Congratulations. You're again a winner. Congratulations. You've won the Memorial Scholarship for Olive Maud Clark. You know, when we looked at the applications, we could see that you are an outstanding young person. You really are. You truly are. You're ambitious and you're hardworking. Along with all this, we could see that you demonstrated clear evidence of your concern for the community in which you live, which is truly admirable for a young person. You don't find that too often. So it gives me great pleasure to present you with this scholarship, Teja. On behalf of the Clark family, we wish you God's blessings and continued success in all your future endeavors. Again, congratulations. You know, I want to take just a few minutes just to say something. This is an inaugural um, event. And so we're able to present two scholarships, one to Evans and one to Tasia. And I just want to appeal to those, you know, not only our family members alone, our friends, but everybody who's listening on your, you know, your, your social media, that with your help, uh, in the uh, next year and the, and, the, and the years to come, we'll be able to do better. We'll be able to give more scholarships and the scholarships will be of a greater amount with your contribution. And so I appeal to you that if you care about your community and if you care about young people and black people in particular, black youth in particular, who sometimes are not getting a fair deal, then please come on board and support us so that we can help support them. I thank you so much and God bless. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, my name is Tasia Noble. Now I could simply tell you that I'm an undergraduate student at Guelph Humber with a career interest in law, teaching, or even policing from my social work background. But I believe there is so much more to us as individuals than an ascribed title or status. So join me as I tell you more about who I am. Social justice and advocacy, education, empowering youth, community involvement. All of these have kept me sane including fitness and i also like to sing so for anyone who needs some encouragement god is able to do just what he said he will do the aforementioned is more about who i had to be than what i have done so the biggest accomplishment that set the foundation for academic achievement, voluntary commitments that allowed me to be in different departments and networks legally and education and advocacy. Let's put that to the side. First started with having the willpower to live. I did not want to live. I struggled with depression, anxiety. It was beyond an existential crisis. And it was only by the grace of God that I started to see my experiences as a means to inspire others that I was able to accomplish such things. And this leads to what this scholarship means to me. I only hope to extend the legacy of Olive Maud and continue to be a light onto others and remind others that this light that is given to us is not promise and death has no bias for every single breath that you get to give here on earth. Use it as a means to encourage and inspire someone else and don't give up. You don't know how your ability to push through can be a catalyst to pull someone else through. So keep on keeping on.
Uh, Peja, you are there. Just some uh, return from you. Just a word from yes. you. Where are you? Good evening, everyone. Go ahead. Evening, everyone. Pleasure to see everyone. Um, something that was just reoccurring on my mind as we we're going through the platform is how we're making do with what we have right now, right? And it reminds me of all of Maud's life as well, too, because I do remember reading that she was alive during World War and she made do with what she had and still was a blessing. So it's a reminder to me that even if we're just starting off with two, just being able to receive this opportunity is a reminder to me to make do with what I have and be a blessing and a reminder to us all. And I'm so thankful to celebrate and thankful for the family to extend the legacy. I might not hold the same last name, but I pray to God that he gives me the strength to just carry on the legacy and the characteristics that she had as well too. God bless. Awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, it, it, this is this this truly tells me uh, what cooperation and what you can do when you have to do it. And this time of pandemic has showed us the kind of things that we have to do if we are willing to be resilient and move forward. So this is amazing. Uh, at this time, I'll call on my sister Carmen. Uh, who lives here in Canada and was uh, the primary caregiver of uh, our mother, Olive. Um, my sister, I love you. You've done a great job. And uh, certainly it's, it's, it's a pleasure to have you say a few words. Go ahead, Carmen. Good evening, everyone. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay. Yes, we can. Okay. First and foremost, you all look so beautiful. Everyone looks so beautiful. And I thank God that we could meet in such a way. First and foremost, we want to thank God for this opportunity to celebrate the legacy and memories of the late phenomenal woman of spirit, Olive Maud Clark. She was loving and caring to all. Can't hear you. Extended family and her church family. She is now resting in Jesus, awaits our soon coming King. I want you to let you know, Evans and Taja, Mama would be very happy to know that you are the proud recipient of the Olive of the late Olive Maud Scholarship Foundation. I wish you both success in all your endeavors. We all thank all for all your contributions. Blessings gone but not forgotten, Mama. Thank you all. God bless you. All right, can you unmute, please? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Um, thank you, Carmen, for that, for, for that word of congratulation um, to our, our, our recipients. Uh, at this time, I will call on my colleague, Dr. Marlon Morris, to say a few words on, about building a legacy for a sustainable success. My colleague, Marlon, we go far way back. And if I tell you how far, I will reveal her age. And she's only 25, as she tell you. So at this time, I'll go forward and ask my colleague, Marlon, to, to address us. Good afternoon, everyone. Hi, it really is a pleasure to be here. And I'm not going to take on Lero yet, later on, okay? And thank you so much for having me this evening to give this presentation, this address. And I'm excited actually, as an educator and all that, that we have done this. And more of us need to step up like this, seriously, okay? So just indulge me for a moment. 
Congratulations, first of all, to our scholarship winning students. It excites me to address you and everyone around the world attending and listening to this event. It is extremely special, okay? Be you here as young professionals, be you here as parents, be you here as well-wishers, be you here as friends and relatives. This is indeed an auspicious moment that the Clark family has established. And I dare say, this is truly a lesson for all of us that we can do the same thing to help our Afro-Caribbean Canadian people, students, with this seemingly very important legacy of value. And the mantle is theirs now to take it forward and make sure we can multiply this effect, okay? So I take this opportunity to welcome all of you to this special evening for Maud, as her daughter said, a phenomenal woman. And I've heard of her because we go way back when with the Clark family. And to live that long is very special. She was a woman of God, right? And she must have nurtured her children and grandchildren well for them to step up and step out like this in her memory, which is truly a legacy of value, okay? And I want to reinforce now for our graduating students and going on to higher level of education, or they may have started already, that they need to soar. And when I say soar, I mean the acronym that will allow them to get into greatness as future leaders and professionals, right? They are destined for greatness, okay? And so what is, am I talking about when I talk about soar? I want you to soar like an eagle. And soar means an acronym, stretch. To stretch for what you want. Don't sit back comfortably and say, oh, it will happen. No, you reach out, you stretch for it, okay? To achieve or to overcome all the vulnerabilities that you may face now and as you study your courses. There is no guarantee in life. You have to step out, right? And overcome in order for you, A, to achieve. A is to achieve your dreams. And R, to reach beyond the ordinary. Never settle for less than the best. God made you indeed more than enough. So never settle for less than the best. This is who you are. Despite what other people may want to say about you and to tell you live as they would want you to live. No, they cannot do that to you. You're brave, bold, bright, beautiful, and you can back it up. Believe in yourself, you. okay? And so the messages we wish to portray is that we seek to encourage you and you encourage others within your peer groups. If you can do it, they can do it too. You are ambassadors. You have been given a great opportunity. So soar. Soar to achieve the levels of excellence hitherto unimagined as you reach deep within the essence of your being, that inner sanctuary of your being where you, where your true power lies. It's not Thank about you. your physical beauty. It's about your Thank mind and that wonderful authenticity that resonates with your spirituality. That's where you're connected to the divine God of the universe. That's the truth 
of who you are. Okay. So the Thank power you. will be limitless, limitless potential. And so we want you to strive, stretch, and soar like the eagle for what you require. And I will stop here because I don't want Dr. Clark to say enough. Okay. I could go on and on and on. I Thank you. Thank you, Marilyn. I know you could go on and for the entire evening and never yes, stop, but yes. it's all good things. I know it's all good things, and but I mean, you know what? It's available to you, Dr. Clark. I want this speech, <laughs> it goes beyond that, to give to these students. And finally, for okay. all of us sitting around this table, that we must be wraparound support for these students to sustain this value of legacy. Whether we want to give them experiential learning when they are at home school break, we can do it, all of us, okay? Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, my friend. At this time, uh, another uh, we have another amazing maestro in the person of Dion Flash. I know this young man from he was a little baby. <laughs> so I've seen him grow and expand. Uh, so here we go, Dion, over to you. Thank you. Thank you so much. With all this talent here, um, I know we were planning a face-to-face -face where uh, Matt and Dion and uh, my amazing uh, friend here, uh, Roxanne and uh, Cora, and a number of them were going to be playing together. Uh, so it never happened face-to-face, -face, but you know what? Here we have, and it's in, it is international. So. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much. I'm going to now introduce uh, a very good friend of mine in the person of Alicia McAllen, a sociologist, and we are currently in ECAP mentoring. We are currently working on an intergenerational project, and I'll just have Alicia say a few words. Over to you, Alicia. Thank you, Dr. Clark. It's such an honor to be here with each of you today. Uh, it happens to be my birthday. 
And I can't think of a better way to celebrate than to be with all of you, um, witnessing the youth, supporting them. Um, Dr. Morris, your words were so moving. And I myself have been involved in education and the arts, and I feel very compelled to support youth in our community and particularly black youth as well. Um, I grew up in an, a multi-generational home with mixed ancestry. My grandmother's from Jamaica and, um, and I honor uh, all of the ancestors from the different lands that are with us here um, and the blessings of your mother, Leroy, and, and the siblings here, which I can feel um, how her love is, is spreading. Thank you. So this film that I'm going to share, a one minute film based on a project, an intergenerational project that happened a couple years ago, and it will give you a sense of what's possible in community um, with this sort of program, and we will be inviting people to participate in future projects. Congratulations, Evans and Teja. I'm so moved by um, each of you and the strength of spirit that you bring and also the wisdom because I, I see youth as also elders who can have that wisdom that teaches us and also guides us the way in the same way that they need their elders and their grandparents or seniors in the community to uh, support them and listen to them. So uh, shall I share? Many Canadian seniors and youth are facing challenges and both groups are becoming increasingly more isolated. We wondered what would happen if we brought them together and attempted to bridge the gap. The concept of our project was to bring together students of Markham District High School and seniors from the Markham Seniors Activity Centre through a series of events and experiences. Our challenge was evident from the start. I was thinking that they're very judgmental. Kids, I thought, were lazy. of the kind of projects, intergenerational projects that um, are such a pleasure to be a part of and to coordinate in our community with partners like Leroy. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Alicia. Um, so we cover all generations here. So, so that's, a, that's an amazing. Uh, may I indulge you for just a few minutes more um, maybe uh, uh, no, lo no more than 10 minutes uh, to complete this. Um, so at this point in time, I'm going to ask you to listen to my amazing friend and supporter, colleague, Roxanne Christian, a music therapist that has done amazing work. And uh, for a reflection, I'll call upon you, Roxanne. Go for it. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Leroy. Um, I love seeing all your supporters and friends and family on the screen. I'm using my phone to live stream, but I'm looking at the computer to see everyone. And it's great to see some familiar faces uh, from last year and um, some new faces. And I just wanna say congratulations to uh, Evans and Tasia. Um, I wanna emphasize what Evan said about, he had some keywords being of service and for the betterment of others in society. Um, so remember those keywords, being of service and for the betterment of others. Um, I love what uh, Tasia said about being the light onto others. Um, so let's keep that in mind as we're uh, engaging together in this reflective meditation. Um, it's so important to, to be that light because when there is darkness all around, 
If you have one little, little flicker of light, then there is no more darkness. There is room and, and space for people to see and to be empowered and to find their way through. And I just want to say thank you so much, uh, Dr. Marilyn Morris, for your amazing words. They were so inspiring. I love all your acronyms and just being brave, bold, and bright and beautiful. I want us to also reflect on that. Um, I want us to reflect on um, all of Maud's brightness, her boldness, her uh, being an ambassador for her children who are now uh, huge uh, lights within the community and have um, empowered and affected the generations to come and even more so with this scholarship and memorial. And so I, as an, uh, a music therapist, I sometimes have people connect with their words through chanting the positive affirmations over and over, and sometimes incorporating music, melody, or playing instruments. So I'm going to uh, sing the affirmation, just positive me. I have a few extra words that go along with it. Um, but when I cue you, I just want you to take deep breaths in through your nose. And as you exhale, just say the words positive me. And as you say the word positive me, you slowly exhale. And then you'll take a deep breath in. And then you'll exhale again and say the word positive me. And you'll keep doing that once I cue you. And you're going to just imagine what your bright light is how you're gonna be an ambassador, how you're gonna be brave, how you're gonna uh, serve society, how you're gonna step up to the plate and, and consistently be better for yourself. And think of all the ways you can feel, do, think, and act uh, and speak positively. So I encourage you to close your eyes as you hear these words and definitely uh, join in on the phrase positive me when I cue you. Positive me is what I aim to be. Embracing victory. Living my life so free. Positive me. Is all I see. Breathing deep in and out through your nose. Imagine your positive, best, highest self. What you're doing or not doing. Who's around or who's not around. Imagine how you're moving, your posture. What you're learning, what you're overcoming. What you're sharing. Imagine how it even smells, how it feels, how it looks, and just turn up that volume, turn up the brightness, turn up the visions, and imagine your positive self. And when you're ready, you're just gonna say the words over and over. Positive me, positive me, positive me. Breathing deep. Exhaling and saying the phrase, however you like, fast or slow, as you imagine your positive, highest, best self. A few more times. Positive me, positive me, positive me. Even louder, shout it out. Positive me, positive me, positive me. Now let's whisper it. Positive me, positive me. Positive me. Say it internally, breathing deep in and out through your nose as you imagine and embrace your positive highest self. Making a difference 
in the presence, making a difference for your community and letting that be a ripple effect in society, just like all of Ma did, just like Dr. Leroy has done with this scholarship, just like Evans and Teja will. Let's feel it one more time, just say it in your hearts as you listen to the melodic affirmation. Positive me is all I aim to be. Positive me is all I see. Positive me is what I claim to be. Embracing victory. Living my life so free. Positive me. Is all I see. Keeping your eyes closed, taking a few deep breaths, reflecting on your positive highest self. Fully really embrace that now. When you're ready, gently open your eyes and come back to the room in gratitude and your highest self. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. That was that was amazing, Cora. That's, sorry, that was amazing, uh, Roxanne. I, I, thank you so much for that. Thank you. Um, we are towards the end of the program now. And uh, I'll just do a closing remark. But after I do this um, closing remarks, uh, Evan's sister, Isora, um, Isora, I think I, is that the correct name, Isora? We'll, say, uh, we'll sing a brief song for us to finish off and be on our way. It was indeed a pleasure to be here tonight. I'm truly blessed by this opportunity. If my mother, Olive, was here to witness this event, she would have smiled and even laughed and say, it was really good, man. Nothing would have made Mama happier than to know that she is making a difference by enriching the lives of others. Gone, but not forgotten. By now, you would have noticed that this memorial is being held during the birth month of our mother. This was very intentional. We wanted to focus on birth and living instead of death and dying. This is what Mama would have wanted. Evans and Tasia, you are the first in a cadre of outstanding young persons to show and tell the world that charity, faith, humility, love and sincerity, capped off by service to others, is the epitome of life and living. Thanks to our, our outstanding and amazing crew of artists and presenters for making this evening such a delight. Of course, without our audience, this would not be an event. God's willing, our second annual presentation and celebration will be face to face, as was the original plan for this inaugural event. We pray God's blessings upon you and your families as you leave this space. Enjoy the rest of your evening while staying safe. Thank you so much. At this time, I'll ask, um, uh, you have that uh, up, uh, Leon? I do. If you could just 
play that. I, I um, think she'll sing live. Is, sorry? I think she'll sing live. She'll sing live? Oh, even better. Even she's better. <laughs> Thank you. All the way from Kenya. Hi, guys. Ooh. Yes, it's all the way from Kenya. And hope you'll be blessed. Thank you, Izzy. I've lost some good friends along life's way. Some loved ones departed in heaven to stay. But thank God I didn't lose everything. I've lost faith people who said they cared. In times of my crisis, they were never there. But in my disappointment, in my season of pain, one thing never wavered, one thing never changed. I never lost my hope. Mm -hmm. I never lost my joy. I never lost my faith. But most of all, I never lost my praise. My praise still. He, my praise still. I've left some blessings, I've let them slip away. When I lost my focus and went astray, but thank God I didn't lose everything. And I lost possessions that were so dear. And I lost some battles by walking in fear. But in the midst of my struggles, in my sins, Lord of pain, one thing never wavered, one thing never changed. I never lost my hope. I never lost my hope. I never lost my joy. But most of all, I never lost my friend. Thank you. Wow. This couldn't be more appropriate uh, for really capturing what my mother was. Um, thank you so much for blessing our hearts with this, uh, Izzy. It, it, it is indeed a pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, friends, family, everyone, it, 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 it's been an amazing evening. I thank you so much for being here with us. Uh, I respect your time and I'm sorry for the almost 20 minutes over, but you know what? Thank God for this great opportunity. And uh, you know, this is an opportunity to spread further and further. So we're here, um, our contact information is on the screen. So please do not hesitate to be in touch with us if you would like uh, to know more about how you can honor uh, yourself or even later on or even your loved ones. So thank you so much and may God bless you. Um, if there, I know there are family members here and uh, just a shout out is fine. 
and uh, as we as we exit. Thank you so much, and may God bless you. Um, away from each other, but not away from the presence of God. Um, worldwide, we are a family now, and uh, we are building an alumni of Olive Mod uh, scholars, and so there's a great opportunity for, if she were here, she would be saying, money good. It was really good. Thank you so much. May God bless you all. Everybody. Have a good night, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you my co-host. Uh, it was great having you, my co-host. I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you, everyone Thanks. from Kenya. Bye. Thank, you. Thank you. Good to meet Bye, you. Everyone. Yeah. From Junior's parents. Oh. Yes. Awesome. You have, you have done a good job. Yeah, thank God. I see an excellent job. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And I know it's 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 almost uh one o'clock in Kenya. Oh, so wow. oh. yes, it is. It's yes, almost it is. one o'clock. <laughs> yeah, so one thirty, yeah. It's wow. one thirty five, yeah. So there you go. So wow. thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Come quickly. Thank you. Hi, Roxanne. You can put that one up Hi, while Roxanne. people are exiting uh, Leon, the last, the community. While people are exiting, you can put that up. Thank you again. My grandma says my patch was rich, but like your mom said, mighty good. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> mighty good, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for the honor. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. It, you could play that, Leah. Hey. 
Yeah. Hi, Joyce and Joel. I can just imagine Mama saying, that's good. <laughs> yes, absolutely, absolutely. Mr. and Mrs. Masami, it was a pleasure having you. Thank you so much, Dr. Clark, and uh, also for your family. We appreciate it. Please pass our regards to each one of them. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. One day we'll meet together. Yeah. So when, you're come, when you're coming to Kenya, we'll be your hosts. <laughs> appreciate it. <laughs> Hi, Sint. How are you? I am doing well, and it's so nice to see you, Leroy, and the other members of the family. I was looking for oh, my girlfriend. I was looking for my girlfriend. I told her I'm definitely coming to see her. I haven't seen her in so long. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. It's 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 wonderful. It's wonderful. It's so good yes. to see you. Same here. I would not miss this yes. because I could not have come to the service in December. Yes. And um, yeah. you know, so it's just a pleasure. It was a lovely evening. I enjoyed it, and the renditions were wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>